How many of you are in this business because you love software? Bunch of you. What are the rest of you in it for? <laughs> Go do something you love. It won't be any good unless you love to do it. And so the question of shipping software on time, it's damn hard to ship software on time. How many of you have noticed that? <laughs> How many of you are consistently involved with projects that ship late? <laughs> oh, come on. The rest of you don't have jobs? <laughs> come on, it's always late. It's always late or it's not functional, one of the two. <laughs> right? You know, I can do nothing and then ship. Right? No problem. <laughs> That's what the corporate strategy is. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you what we figured out in the Visual C++ group and give you my point of view on it. Just the point of view. Take it for what it's worth. The first and perhaps the most important thing that you want to understand about shipping software on time is that you have to get your head into a space that I call lucid ignorance. Right? That's kind of a nice phrase, isn't it? I'm aware of how dumb I am. <laughs> that makes me a lot less dumb than your average software development guy. Because they're aware of how smart they are. And they're, they're sitting there, they have everything lined up. Boy, per charts and schedule plan and all uh, little items that say what's going to happen when. They've got it down to half days and then Joe goes to the bathroom and then he goes, on, you know. They think they know what this process is all about. And I contend that the very first thing you want to do is articulate that which is unknown. I want to know what's going to get me. The people in my group that are the most scared and the most conscious of all the evil software specters in the universe. Those are the people that get the big bonuses. 4%. <laughs> the world, for some reason, people don't like this idea of not knowing stuff. I mean, have you noticed this? Even when they don't know it, they would prefer that you act like you know it. Even when you don't know it. They will demand that you present them this facade of orderliness even when you're just roiling chaos inside. And that's what most software is, particularly in the beginning. It's very chaotic. You have new technology, all sorts of unknowns. You have a new team or a team that's just coming off a death march. There's a nice kind of team to have, <laughs> right? It's just, there's so many things that are unknown. And then some client, I'll try and do this from the point of view of what the world must look like from MCS. Some client demands that you know everything and show them how everything's very finite and very contained and it's all going to be okay if he would just give you a million dollars or whatever it is you're asking for. Don't go for that a couple of times. How many of you found that out? <laughs> but it doesn't really help them in the long run. How many of you have to accept dictated feature content and dictated end dates? and dictated resources simultaneously. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> That's all I have to say. It won't work. You can, unless They know less than you do. That's why you're getting the big bucks, right? So if they know less, and you don't know very much, right? <laughs> I won't tell if you don't. We're all my stuff here. <laughs> but you don't know very much. And so you know that if you, at the still of the night at 4 a.m., you know that you don't know if this thing is ever going to show, right? <laughs> but they, who know even less than you now, we're on scale here, they know a lot less than you, they're telling you when it's going to be done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you are one smart client. It doesn't make sense. You're going to have to be honest with them. When you don't know, you don't know. When they don't know, they don't know. They can't hire someone that knows, they can only hire someone that lies. All right? So you want to project that confidence, that knowledge. Yeah. Well, it's true. It's totally true. And I give the same talk to them, um, MIS groups and stuff like that. And they go, yeah, you know. And then they go, this is what bugs me, though. They go, You're talking to the wrong guys. You should be talking to my boss. 
How many of you have had that feeling so far today, right? She goes, yeah, that's my boss's problem. No, this is your problem. You're the expert. You're the one that is held accountable for Microsoft's success, for your customer's success. This is your issue. And don't bullshit about your issues. Don't give dates that you don't understand. And don't say you know something when you don't. Seems simple. Your job is to create an organization that can cope with uncertainty. Right? They hate it. They hate it. It drives them crazy. Human beings want to know what, what all is going to happen next, right? They want to, this is the biggest, our marketing guys, when's it going to ship? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, thanks, I needed that. <laughs> right? They did need that. It's like, learn how to cope with uncertainty. <laughs> then it will all be okay. And as soon as I know, the second I know anything, I'll tell you. And then I'll tell you when, you know, I, as soon as I know what I told you before was wrong. You'll just have to trust me on that one. <laughs> the organizations you're working with, what's your job? Isn't it to make them stronger, healthier, more alive instead of dead? How many of you walk into dead places every day for your clients? <sighs> Bring them to life and start with the facts. Start with the facts. 